Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. Just in case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a full body flexibility practice. I'm just gonna use my bolster a little bit today. Find some space to move though, and let's get started. So we are gonna begin laying down. If you wanna lay on top of something, feel free to do so. You might also want to make a diamond shape with your legs to get into your hips for a few moments. Uh, but let's lay down for sure. And then you can decide where you would like to place your legs, your arms. Let your eyes close when you're ready to do so. And just notice what you're feeling throughout your body right now. Where are you feeling some extra love today? Can you feel your belly moving? as you breathe. You relax through your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. And maybe we'll take a slower inhale. A deeper inhale and let it go. And do that again, just a slow, deep breath in and out. And one more time, fill your body up with as much air as you can. Feel your body expand. And then let it all go. Now can we stay here for a few extra moments? Maybe finding stillness throughout the body. Just some smooth, effortless breath. Allow your day to fade away. Give yourself the opportunity to slow down. As we begin to bring some movement back in, just start with a slow inhale. Feel your belly expand and let that breath go. And then you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe bringing your knees back together or your feet to the ground. And if you are laying on top of something, we can take it out. Just lay flat on your back for a moment, but maybe hug your knees to your chest. You could add a sway side to side. 
but mostly feel your back against the ground, your low back included. And when it feels good to do so, we're going to send our legs out long. So stay on your back, but send your legs out long. Now you might bring the arms out a little bit wider just to kind of weigh down the shoulders for now. We're going to try to roll onto our left hip, but you kind of want to scooch that left hip towards the middle of your mat. So you can bend your right leg and plant that foot to use it to kind of lift the left hip, turn on to that left hip. And then I want you to take that right foot and try to cross it over top of the left leg. So we're trying to stack the right hip on top of the left hip, but keeping the shoulders on the ground as best we can. So it's, it's a twist, but it's gonna get a little bit different. I want you to keep your legs on the longer side of things. There can be a little bend through the knees, but kind of longer legs. Rotate those hips as best you can. And then we might reach our arms past the head. So up above the head. Your hands might even come together and think lengthening through the upper body, a stretch, a reach of the arms past the head. Now, if you are familiar with banana pose, I like to call this twisted banana. <laughs> a little different, a little weird if you've never done it before. And we are just going to start to bring the arms back down and then we'll move the legs, the right leg. Bring it back and over so you can plant the foot and then turn so you're flat on your back again. So the twist comes from the rotation of the hips, turning on to the right hip this time. So bend your left leg, plant that foot, and use it to push into the ground. Now try to scooch the right hip either towards the middle of the mat or even off to the left side a little bit. See how much you can turn the hips. Trying to stack the left one over the right one this time. Keeping the legs a little bit longer, but that left foot, it can move off to the right side and turn, turn, turn those hips. So feel that twist through the spine. And then you can try to reach the arms up and past the head to lengthen the upper body. Nice work, you guys. Start to bring your arms back to your sides and slowly bring that left leg back to turn so you're flat on your back again. You could hug your knees, both of them, to the chest and take a rock or sway side to side. Let that go. Twisted banana. And then you can either roll over or rock yourself forwards, but we're gonna come all the way up and onto our hands and knees. So find tabletop. Maybe give your hips a gentle sway side to side once you get there. And just check in. How are you feeling so far? Sensations might start to flow throughout your body, through different areas of your body. We are going to be moving into a lunge, though, with our right foot forwards. So you can set up your lunge. Maybe roll your back, um, your mat over for your back knee for a little cushion there. But sink into the hips. 
Keep your chest low. You might be looking at your nice big toe or closing your eyes, but find the length through that left hip flexor, the top of the quad. And then you can keep your foot in the middle of your mat, or you can heel toe it off to the right side for a lizard lunge. The foot off to the side, the knee off to the side. Hands under your shoulders if possible, and still sinking into the hips. Now from here, if you do want to add your back leg into this, bring your left hand to the edge of your mat. Turn your chest towards the right. You can stay in the twist, or you could lift your back foot up and maybe hold your back foot too to get a little bit more length through the quads, through the hip flexor. And if you did add the back leg or the twist, to start to make your way back, back into your lizard lunge, hands under the shoulders, chest facing down, and then heel toe your foot back to the middle of your mat. From your lunge, maybe an extra breath or two, sinking into that left hip flexor, and then you can bring the right leg back into your tabletop. Give the hips a sway if you'd like. Again, notice what you feel, where you feel it, especially through that left hip. And then switching sides, our left foot can come forward, setting up our lunge. Maybe roll your mat over for some cushion for your back knee. Look at your big toe. Keep your chest close to your knee. How does this leg, this hip feel compared to the other one? Maybe you'll stay here in the lunge. Maybe you'll move your foot to the left side for lizard. If you're lucky, you'll still feel the right hip flexor, but you'll get into the left leg and hip too. If you are going to go for the twist or adding your back quad into this, move your right hand to the edge of your mat as well. Turn the chest to the left. Stay here if you'd like. Maybe float the back foot if you'd like, and maybe even hold that back foot. If you're twisting or in the quad stretch, Slowly, slowly, make your way back. Hands to the ground. Eventually heel toe your foot to the middle again, back to your lunge. Take an extra breath or two, sinking into that right hip. And then you can push that leg back, or push into the hands and bring your leg back so that you are in tabletop and give the hips a sway, shake it out a little bit. We are going to find our way to seated. So you can sit down with your legs in front. Maybe give the knees a hug or a squeeze first. Thank them for all they do for you. And then we'll send our legs out long and out wide, so wide straddle. Lengthen the legs, bring the feet out as wide as they want to go. Maybe pointing your toes up, maybe even keeping a nice little bend through the knees. Uh, if you have your hands on the ground, they could be in front of you, they could be behind you, but lengthening through the spine. Just gently press Kind of the glutes into the ground. Try to lift your chest off of your low back. Now you can stay seated tall. You could start to tip forwards. Maybe grab your pillow and bring it underneath your forearms. 
And just feeling the length through the inner legs. So folding forwards here. You could stay. If you want to add some shoulders in, we're going to lift back up. You can take your right hand and bring it to the low back or towards the left hip. If you want to come out of the straddle, you can sit cross-legged or in any comfy seat. But with the right hand behind you, palm facing away, we could tip a little bit. We could tip towards the left leg, maybe going so far to having the hand on the ground or even the forearm on the ground. And then try to lift the chest, the shoulder, maybe even looking up above you. If you're still in the wide straddle, point your toes up. Take just one more breath and then use an inhale to lift. Bring your hand out from behind you, maybe a little shoulder roll and just switching sides. So your left hand can come for the low back or towards the right hip, palm facing away. Maybe starting to tip towards the right leg. Maybe the hand is on the ground, maybe the forearm and maybe pointing those toes up as well. Try to open the chest, lift the shoulder, the gaze, and breathe. Nice work, you guys. Just one more breath here. And then slowly lift if you're tipping off to the side. Bring your arm back in front. If you do have your legs wide still, help them come back together. Give your knees a nice hug or a squeeze. And then we can lay down on our backs again. So once you're on the ground, on your back, just plant your feet, bend your knees. Maybe sway the knees side to side a few times. You could turn the chin over towards your left shoulder. And then bring your chin all the way over towards the right shoulder. And just coming back to resting on the back of the head. Send your legs out long, one at a time, feet wide. And just rest your arms somewhere comfy. Give your toes a little wiggle. Feel the ground beneath you. Eyes close. Breath effortless. And start to allow your body to find stillness. Settle into Shavasana. And stay here for as long as you have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day and until next time, namaste.